Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series for beginners. In the previous episode, we learned how to create post, right? And if you notice and if you remember, we created an object and assigned it values which were static. Today, we are going to refactor that uh, piece of code and make it dynamic data. That way you will know how to work with dynamic data. Also, we will explore the Postman tool to start testing our API and sending data. At the same time, we will convert one of our and verify that in the database also. So it's going to be exciting in this particular episode. Welcome. This is part 21 of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. Uh, please make sure that you have seen all the previous episodes so you have continuity in your learning. Also, if you have any doubts in any of the tutorials covered so far, please drop me comment in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. All right, so let's get started. Uh, before we do, uh, please do check out the MongoDB playlist uh, that I have created in this particular channel. Uh, that would help you learn MongoDB because most of these functions that we work, you will find them sim familiar if you learn MongoDB. Thank you in advance. All right, so we are working with MongoDB CRUD. Just for a quick recap to our viewers who are joining us new, create, uh, which is to create a new document, read documents, which is reading documents from a collection, update documents, uh, this is to update a set of documents, and delete, it will delete the documents from a collection, right? That's the background. If you want further more information, I've covered that in the previous uh, tutorials as well, so please do check them out. All right, so what are we doing today? Uh, this is a continuation to the previous video. So it will not it will not make sense if you have not seen the previous video. So make sure you check it out. Um, so we are making the data dynamic uh, in nature in this particular episode, the one that we had static data in the last episode. Also, we will make use of Postman tool and we will refactor some of the code here, All right? So let's get started. Um, so this is what we are at. Uh, we were at step number 10 in the last episode. So I'm going to create step number 11 now, right? Step number 11, which is first we will refactor our code. Uh, so th basically what we need is if you see the routes. Um, so this is what we had. Uh, we had a get here. So I made it post now, right? So we had this get method. I made it post and this is a static data that we have. So what we will do now is we will make this dynamic. So I'm going to say request dot data dot. Right. So we are going to pass data via um, the postman tool. So I'm going to capture it there. Uh, we don't need student ID. Right. So what I'm going to do first instead is um, let's remove this query and I'm going to delete um, all of it. Right. So what we are going to do is let's delete because I just want the fresh installation I don't want any so that I can show you how it works right so now I don't have any data here in this particular collection if you see okay so let's delete there are some more I want there should be a faster way to do it, but I'm uh, exploring. I know it in Robo T 3D, but not in this. But OK, so now this collection does not have any data students, right? All right, so it's blank. OK, it's fresh. So let's go ahead now that we deleted it. So what I'm going to do, uh, we are going to follow this schema for the now. So let's make it dynamic in nature and how do we do that we'll say request dot data that's what we are going to get and we are going to make it first name copy this right last name and here move this say h here you will say top and here we are going to say department. So see, now we made this data dynamic in nature, right? So all of this data will come from request object, which has a key called data, which will hold the data that is sent from the uh, request, right? And now we made it post, right? 
so we refactored our code made the method post instead of get uh, we made the the data dynamic in nature right which means it's now coming from request object all right so next step um, let's test it out using postman tool right uh, so one other thing that we did here was i deleted the entire collection documents right uh, this so that we can verify you don't have to delete it but i deleted because there was a lot of junk data so i deleted that you don't have to do it so i'm not listing it here so that you don't get confused all right so now let's use the postman tool um, so this is the postman tool right and what we are going to do if you are not familiar with what is postman tool uh, download postman.com tool uh, postman app.com so uh, i think that's what it is so download it it's a tool used for api testing okay uh, we'll be using it heavily in our application testing apis so make sure that you know it all right that being said let's go back uh, to students so we have a slash add we have the dynamic data in nature and this is what uh, we have now sending the message okay beautiful so now let's just say npm run start okay so application is started now let's go here and say http local host 3000 slash students right if you do this we should see student route works that's perfect because that's what is our default route for students right so it's coming this is so it's entering here now if i add slash add and send data i should be able to do slash add make this method as post and in the body i'm going to set this data here right so let's do that uh, we have so we don't need student id because that would be auto generated underscore id field so we got first name last name age date of birth and department all right so let's do that so let's hit this endpoint and send so it says 500 internal error okay so it says cannot read property first name of undefined okay all right so it says cannot read um, first name of undefined okay so let's see that why so the way to debug is let's put a console log for now and i'm going to say request dot data and let's restart again we can use nodemon as well so feel free if you are comfortable with that i somehow feel i'm used i've got used to it so uh, yeah so it says still cannot read property of first name of undefined let's see so here we see that uh, our request data right uh, student post this is post student slash add okay so that's the problem uh, i think what is happening is first name last name we have given okay and it's json format and we are sending body raw which is correct now uh, let's see here so it says undefined right okay so let's see why uh, so you got the request now let's debug it here and i'm going to run it again okay now let's go and hit enter it still says undefined okay so request dot what is it request dot right request dot params path oh sorry it's request dot body not data my bad so what happens is when you work with too many frameworks this is the result of that so yeah my bad sorry okay so i don't need to console log i know that alrighty so now it should work so it's request dot body uh, that's what you we are sending so here now send it and you see that it inserted the data we are getting 200 okay it inserted the object 
with values and created a mongodb id let's see that in mongodb let's refresh we should see our entry here that means it was successfully inserted i'm going to try one more time and let's say um, let's say youtube tube project right so we are sending one more and some send some different data just so we verify that it's correct send some any data right um, okay so now you see it inserted the second one go here refresh so we see that it inserted the new one as well right cool very cool so so all our uh, refactoring of the post method is done we are now it's we made it post we are getting the dynamic data and we are inserting it and getting the records right so this is um, one thing now instead of sending this error right um, so i'll i'll show you error handling maybe in some other episode but that's the way to handle that also all right cool so we got the post which is dynamic in nature which is working fine uh, we'll we'll keep refactoring this as and when we progress along but you get an idea of how to work with dynamic data now all right thank you so much for joining uh, see you in the next episode where we will learn how to do get operations which is reading the data from the database using expressjs and mongodb thank you so much for joining i hope you are enjoying if you are enjoying the series please do hit the like button please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much